Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are doing something extra fun and extra innovative. We are making a linguine with uni, and that's sea urchin, and a little bit of fish roe and quail eggs. Super easy, super quick, and super tasty. I like to use linguine in this dish, but you don't have to. You can use angel hair pasta, fettuccine, spaghetti. Now that I said all that, let's get cooking. First thing I will do is chop just a little bit of parsley. I like to add parsley to my sea urchin because it adds flavor, color, and a little bit of dimension. Notice that I'm not actually chopping it too fine because you don't want to lose it in the dish. And I don't really care about removing my leaves from the stem. Who cares why waste your time? All right, that was done. Next, I'm gonna do garlic. Garlic in this dish is essential and you want to make sure that you have nice slices. It could be super thin, but make sure that you have slices. It adds another dimension to the sauce. I like to go with about, I'd say, five or six garlic cloves. And that's about it. And I wanna show you something. This is a palette of uni. Generally, don't let them rip you off because in a normal store or if you go to your fishmonger, this will run you about $45 to $50. If you go to a Korean store or an Asian store, you can buy a palette like this for about 15 bucks. I got my palette there, my pasta, linguine, my water's ready, so I need to put that in because the pasta is gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. And like I said, this is a super easy dish, so you don't wanna spend too much time waiting for the pasta to finish. So my water is nice and hot, and that's what you want to make sure because it'll cut your cooking time in half. And then in goes my pasta. I'm going to use about a half a pound. Let's get that in there. I don't like to break my pasta. That's kind of cheater. So I make sure the water is hot, the pasta bends, and it goes right in. Break it up. Do I like to add salt to my water? No, because then my pasta is too salty and I can't distinguish it from the salt that I'm going to put into my actual dish. Let it go. I cover it because it cooks a lot quicker and I'll check back in about five to eight minutes. But in the interim, we're going to start to make our quail eggs. Let's get the oil in there. Make sure the oil is nice and hot, otherwise the egg will stick. Here we go. And as it's cooking, I have hot oil. I'm going to slightly turn my pan and cover it with the oil. As you see, as I'm doing this, the top of the egg is actually getting cooked. My egg is ready to go. And out it comes onto my plate. Next. In we go. Oil bath. Finished. Okay, got our eggs ready to go. Next step. Now, I'm using a wok. Why do I use a wok? Because a wok for me, when I'm sauteing something, has a great value in terms of how it heats up and it evenly heats up and the sauteing in it is superb. You're gonna see that this pot will get hot quicker than any other surface that I've known. Right now, it's ready to go get a decent amount of oil. Part of this uni goes right in because I like to start to mash it to give my oil a bit of flavor. Next, I will add my garlic. Get that in there nicely. And then I add a little bit of chicken stock. This is my base for my pasta. A little bit of creamed uni, some garlic, oil. One thing I'll impress on you is some people are a little afraid of uni. Don't be, it has an amazing taste. It's not just meant for sushi. You can do anything with it. Like you see, I'm making a nice pasta dish with it. Um, so good. The garlic, the uni, the chicken stock, and the salt. Okay, 
we're ready to rock and roll. I'm going straight out of the pot into the next pot. Voila. Now you'll notice that I have only half a pallet of uni in there. And there's a reason for that because I'm just going to do a nice toss through at the very end. I'm going to add all of my parsley now, well half of it, we can see it won't need all that. So it just kind of wilts in with that. A little more chicken stock, around. a tad bit more salt. Last and final stage, we're gonna throw in the rest of that delicious uni. Now, I don't want this to cook through too much. Holy mackerel. Okay, we're ready to plate this. It's so delicious. Doppel in a row and finish it off. With the quail egg. Remember, as I always say, aesthetics, aesthetics, aesthetics. People eat with their eyes first and then they taste it. Linguini, sea urchin, quail egg with a little bit of fish roe. Right, what I normally do is I like to crack open my quail egg and kind of mix it into the bite. That's just me. Super tasty. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is gonna be messy, and that's okay. Biggest spoonful ever. Oh, okay. It's like a fresh ocean breeze. The uni is so creamy, the garlic. You don't even taste the chicken stock. But when you hit the, the fish roe and the quail egg, it's like a Mouthful of delicious, creamy, yes. This is linguine with sea urchin or uni with quail egg, fish roe, absolutely phenomenal. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because you'll be making a dish with me every single week just like this. I'll see you soon. Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and today's super tasty, sexy date dish, we are making a Vietnamese style marinated pork chop with scallion salad and a little bit of sauteed choy sum.